Alrighty guys, I uh, want to thank Fereno again for sponsoring yet another video. Uh, today we're going to be putting together the uh, corner shelf from them. I'll uh, we'll put a link for it down below in the description. Again, I ordered, I think it was seven items from them. Uh, that's around $160, so they're not overly expensive. And from what I put together so far, they seem really sturdy for what they are. I mean, they're not solid oak, okay? But for what they are, they're pretty good. I mean, really, I'm happy with them. And, I mean, yeah, I'm happy. So we'll see what's in this, okay? Uh, this one should be fairly simple and easy to put together. <laughs> There's quite a few pieces with this one too. Jeez out. Alright, let's see here. Oh, we gotta tie down to tie it to the wall. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, so what you got here is you got a three packs of these uh, spacers that goes in between the uh, shelves. Let's go ahead and get those out so they're ready to go. Um, no, that's not going to work. Oh, well, I tried. These are plastic, these pieces, uh, but they're sturdy. Uh, you got your little pies, and there's four of those. Uh, actually, make sure they're all B's. Oh, there's two A's. Oh, three A's and one B. Okay, so I'm going to put all the A's together, and the B's going to be separate. My guess is the B is going to be the one I have to do first because it's probably going to work from the bottom to the top. Be my guess. <clears throat> and of course, we're back to the everything all in one step thing, which I, I'm fine with. These are real simple to put together. Uh, in the other bag, you got your feet. That's easy enough to figure out. And in the last little baggie, you got your tops and your caps. Uh, which seems like it's going to be hard to get out of plastic for some reason. So you got four of those, you got four feet, you got, I don't know how many, uh, probably nine of the arm uh, things. Anyway, your feet. Uh, the flat part's going to be at the bottom, and then the raised up beveled end is going to go right through these holes. Okay? So, put one in. Uh, I probably put the wrong one in first, it's alright. Put the next one. Next and next. Okay. So, those are in. Now, one of these should have a cap in it, and it's going to be this back one here. So you take your little cap, it's threaded, you just slide it into the hole for the one on the curve in the back, <coughs> and tighten it down. Uh, once you get down here far enough, it's it doesn't go very easily. So, <coughs> this is going to be the back of it, actually. Uh, it's going to be the part that goes into the corner, and then this is going to be you know, the rounded part. So with that, we're going to go ahead and set it down, pointy head facing away from us. And you're going to take some of these. Of course, the uh, threaded end is going to go down into the foot through the hole of the uh, piece of wood. Please hit the button on the camera. Thank you, sweets. And you just spin those to get them started. We can tighten them down in a second. Just You, know, you just want to spin them to get them started. And there we go. They're tight. Take your next shelf, set it right on top. 
Now this may be a little whopper jaw to start off with, but it will correct itself as you go. Uh, there again, same thing, threaded part down into the top of the uh, other pieces. <coughs> <coughs> Thread them in. Now, what? Oh, okay. All right. Get those tightened down. Take your next shelf. Right up in. Make sure you put those pegs down into the holes. And then you can get those started as well. Uh, wrong side. I could stand up to do this, but I'm not going to. Not yet. Not yet. All right. So we'll get those mostly in there. Now we're going to pull it down so we can see to do the rest of this, right? Because, I mean, there's no point in moving the camera up to see every little step when we can just pull the item down you already know what the bottom looks like it's fine besides you're doing this at home but you're probably gonna be sitting down anyway right all right so your last shelf right on the top of this and it's gonna be the same thing as before only difference being now you can put the caps on uh caps just go right inside the hole and gets Rotated. We'll tighten that down here in a second. Just, I just want to get everything tacked first. Okay, now with everything tacked in, you can then rotate to tighten everything down. Uh, we're gonna set this back up here. Huh? Yeah. Alrighty, now she's together. Uh, this is the top here. Uh, woo. When it's on the table and you're sitting down, that's a stretch. Uh, on the floor, it won't be that much of a stretch. Um, and again, the front of it is the curved part. The tipped part will be back into the corner. And they give you this nice little attachment thing here just so you can attach it to your wall. Um, it's got a, like a drywall thing and then an eye hook and then a zip tie. That you can zip tie to the eye hook that's screwed into the drywall thing. So, if you got kids, attach it to the wall for their safety. Uh, the thing itself, I mean, doesn't seem like it's very heavy. Uh, we put stuff on it, it's gonna be a little heavier. I'd be more worried about the stuff falling off of it than I would about the weight of this. Uh, yeah. But, you know, my daughter's seven, so I don't have to worry too much about the weight. If you got little ones, you might be a little more worried about the weight. Anyway, thanks again, Farino, for uh, sponsoring this video. Again, we'll have a link down below in the description if you want to check them out. Uh, but thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. It always helps the channel out, and I appreciate you watching. Bye!